All right, I finally got my hands on the Galaxy Z Fold 4. Let's go ahead and see what all the fuss is about. Let's open it up. It's beautiful. Okay, let's get on into this. This is awesome. What's up guys, thanks for coming to the channel. If you don't know me, my name is Adam, AKA The Drone Dad. I do some tech reviews for the non-tech savvy. I do some drone videos, I do family dad stuff. What we have here is the new Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4, their new foldable phone. I'm really excited to get into this. This is really cool, okay? So first of all, just the first thing you have to get used to is just listen, listen. It's so nice. It feels really sturdy. The first thing people ask about is always the hinge. Like, does it feel like it's gonna break? Oh, I'm so scared. But it's actually really pretty tough and rugged. I've read that they rate it for, I believe it's 200,000 open and closes. So maybe I need to stop doing this. We're gonna do this on one take. I've had the phone for about a week now. I kind of got a little bit of exposure to foldable phones because I actually had the Z Fold 3 but I had to get rid of that whenever T-Mobile, my carrier, it was a big whole thing in the news. They crashed the foldable phones at the time with a software update. So I spent a little while going back to normal phones, which was this S21 Ultra is not a normal phone. It was, it was great. It's wonderful. I still haven't sent it back yet. I haven't got done saying my goodbyes. So as soon as I could, I went ahead and decided to jump back into the foldable phone era and I love it. So let's get on into it. Let's see if it's something for you or not. So we've talked about the hinge and how strong it is. We've actually gotten into the hinge. I've shown you several times that it does work. Uh, you could also, if you want, you could hold it up like this and you could watch a movie or YouTube or, you know, you can actually, if you do hold it up like this, you can use it as a keyboard, the bottom half, and it essentially becomes a mini laptop. Pretty cool. So a lot of people ask me, Adam, why do you need a phone like that? And obviously I don't need it, but in today's day and age with technology, it's not about need, it's about want. And I want more real estate so that I can have more apps open at the same time. If I'm driving, I wanna have GPS and YouTube open. Don't act like you don't play YouTube while you're driving. We're not watching it, we're listening to it. You can have Facebook open on one app, you can have you know, any number of possibilities. And if you like a specific setup, like, hey, I like having GPS over here and YouTube over here, you can actually save those combinations in the taskbar over here on the side. Click that, and now all of a sudden, you've got your map here, you've got your videos there, what more could you want? If you wanna make one side bigger than the other, you can do that. Uh, you can use this to take pictures. So if you wanna use these cameras, which are the best on the phone to take a picture, you can set this on something and take a selfie. So you can either put it on a timer, run out in front of the camera, take the picture, or most Samsung phones have it by default, but if not, you can go into your settings and change it. If you just do this and show the camera your palm, it will count down from three or two and take the picture. So really neat. It really opens up the possibilities of how you can use this phone. So as I was saying, you can actually use this as its own tripod. You could set it up long ways like this to take a more portrait style shot, or you can set it up like this and take a horizontal landscape shot. Whatever you wanna do, you can do pictures, videos that way, however you wanna do it. Or if you want to keep it closed, you can take a selfie with this camera on the front of the screen, and I'll do that now, and then I'll show you that picture. So I'll go ahead and take the picture. So there you have it. You use that camera, or you use these cameras. There is a camera once you open it up. There's a camera on here, it's underneath the pixels. So if you have something open, say I have my YouTube open, you can't really see it. Those, pic those pixels turn on and they kind of cover it up. But as soon as you turn on the camera feature, now those pixels turn off and you can use the camera. The only problem is, is that I believe this is only a four megapixel camera. It's okay for like zoom calls and things like that, but really mm, it's not so great. I'll go ahead and take a picture of myself now and we can compare it to the picture that I just took a second ago, okay? As you can see, 
that's not the camera you want to use. But what you can do if you want to use these cameras and still use a selfie, what you can do is you can actually hit this button in the top right side and now your cover screen turns on and now you can see yourself and you can take the picture that way. I usually take the picture by pushing on one of the side buttons here, but you can take a picture and now you just took a picture with the best camera on the phone instead of having to use that inner screen camera. So it's a cute little workaround that Samsung came up with. I love it personally. Something else that this phone does do, it is compatible with the previous S pens, the stylus pens that Samsung is good for. You have to use a specific type though. It's either the S Pen Fold or the S Pen Pro. It works with both. The Pro is a lot larger, so it doesn't fit in any cases that would hold the pen. So that's kind of a bummer. But the one thing I do actually have it, the one thing I do like is that you are actually able to copy text from one device and copy it over to, the, to another. So if I'm giving someone an address, instead of sending it to them, I can copy with the pen, it has onboard memory for just a little bit, and I can swipe on their phone and it'll copy that over. So really neat feature, I like it a lot. I don't do a whole lot of drawing, I'm not very artistically inclined, but I know that having that bigger screen and having an actual proper pen is gonna be really cool. So really, it all basically comes down to whether or not this phone is good for you, is do you multitask? Do you like having multiple apps open at the same time? Do you like bouncing back and forth as you're doing stuff? Do you like watching something like on Amazon or Netflix or whatever while you're also checking your social media? Like I like to have Netflix open and look at Facebook at the same time. Now you can do it. It works perfectly for that. So if that's something you're interested in and you need that extra real estate, it's a great phone for you. If not, you don't really need it. I mean, compared to normal phones, this is kind of a narrow screen for, for comparison. I'll hold up this one and you can see this one's a wider screen, the S21 Ultra. So this one's kind of narrow. So sometimes if you're using both thumbs to text somebody, it could be a little small, a little tight for you. If you use one hand, it's just great because you can actually reach both sides of the screen with one thumb really well or if you're making a longer note or a longer message, you're typing something out, just open it up and use both hands to do it like that. But after just one week, that's really all I have for you guys. It's really a great phone. I don't wanna get buried into the specs and bore you guys with all the inner workings of the phone itself. It's a really great phone. I love having that extra real estate. I love using it in my car so that I can have my email and my GPS open at the same time. I really like that while I'm driving. It just, it opens up the door for so many more possibilities and I really think that if you give it a shot, you're gonna like it. If not, no big deal. But I do have an affiliate link in the description of this video, so if you wanna go ahead and click that, it would help the channel out a ton. Thank you so much for doing that. And if you wouldn't mind while you're here hitting the subscribe button, I really would appreciate that too. I've got a lot more videos coming up. So anyways, with that, we'll keep it short and sweet. See you on the next video. Love you. bye.